This is a Biofeng DM1701 DMR and FM handheld. Now, for some years I've used a DM1801 like this as my main handheld, uh, both on the DMR and on FM, and it's worked very well. It was cheap to buy and it was upgradable to the OpenGD77 firmware, which made it much easier to use and much more pleasant to use. You can no longer buy the uh, DM1801. You can buy an identical looking DR1801 like this one here. But although this performs very similarly to the DM1801 with the standard Baofeng firmware, the difference is with the DR1801, you can't upgrade it to the OpenGD77 firmware. And that really limits its usefulness. It's a good basic DMR radio, but on the standard firmware, it really lacks a lot of the usability and the features of the upgraded firmware. So, because recently I started to experience some problems with this uh, DM1801, although it's, it's working at the moment, I've got it back working, but it was becoming a little intermittent with the uh, the power switch here. Um, I thought, what am I going to replace it with if it fails altogether? As I already said, the DR1801 isn't a replacement, although it looks identical, you can't upgrade the firmware. But the 1701, which is still available new for... I think I paid around 45 UK pounds delivered from AliExpress. This radio is upgradable. And in fact, some suppliers are even advertising these 1701s with the OpenGD77 firmware already loaded on. This particular example has the original Bayofeng firmware on it. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you what it looks like now. You can see it there on the opening screen and we can uh, look quickly at the menus. Looks rather like a TYT uh, menu at uh, first appearance. Okay. Now, what I will do, and I believe and hope that my DM1801 program in lead will fit this radio because this radio just came with a charger and a manual didn't come with a program in lead I'm hoping I've got one to fit it I think it'll be the DM1801 lead that will fit it we're going to look at the Bayofeng standard software we're going to read what's on this radio there'll be some channels already programmed in I always make a habit of reading the radio first before I do anything else with it and just saving a copy of that file. And then we'll go through the process of um, updating the firmware to the OpenGD77 firmware. You'll be able to see the difference and the extra features that we get when we do that. And uh, we'll also show the, uh, the radio in use on OpenGD77. Um, once I update the firmware, I'll actually be able to import the code plug from my DM1801, which is running the OpenGD77 firmware. Makes things a lot easier. Okay, and I'll show you how that's done. I'll just put the two radios side by side. You'll see that the 1701 is slightly taller. It feels weight-wise roughly about the same weight, I would say. And we have an extra rotary control on the top of the 1701 you see we only have the on off and volume control on the 1801 1701 has the extra rotary control which i think will function as a, a channel change as you can see we're stepping up and down in um two megahertz steps at the moment which is the way it's it's defaulted but we've got a channel change knob there and the volume and on off switch there on the side we've got the PTT and one, two, three side buttons. Presumably these are programmable. Um, and on the other side we have the uh, standard, uh, let's see if we can open, take the little gasket off there. 
standard connectors for mic and uh, earphones. This will also be where the programming cable connects. And a little screw there which I think holds this gasket on. Have the ability to add the, the belt clip there. Push the button, <coughs> but release the battery. And we'll see that we have a, what is that, 20, 2200 milliamp hour battery. Battery model DM1. Let's just compare it to the battery that's in the 1801. And you'll see the battery is, a, again, a little bit longer. Um, connections look very similar. But um, yet again, the chargers are going to be different. I wish Bei Beofeng uh, would standardize the chargers. I've got four or five different types of chargers for my Beofeng radios. All of the batteries are different. You would think it'd be more economic for them to standardize the batteries because the uh, operating voltage and capacity of the batteries is roughly the same. But anyway, there you go. That's the 1701. There it is. We'll um, download the standard uh, BFing uh, programming software. We'll read this radio and uh, in the next video we'll also upgrade the radio to open a GD77. I've downloaded the software, the DM1701. Uh, software to be able to read my 1701 radio so I'll just open it up here I plugged the program in leader to the 1701 plugged it into the USB on my PC and turned the radio on I'm using the same program in lead as I use with my DM1801 it, the lead also works with the RD5R Beofeng. I believe it's going to work with the 1701. So as I always recommend, the first thing I'm going to do is to read what's on the radio. There will be some channels programmed into it already. There always are. And it'll at least give me the chance to see what some of the basic settings on the radio, how they're set up. Because the radio's working. I've turned it on and I know it's working. So... Although this will be a very simple, uh, basic code plug that will be on it, it's worth um, worth having it and saving it. So let's click on the read button here. Now, the radio has come up in my device manager as a, as a DFU item. It hasn't come up as a, a COM port, so I shouldn't have to mess around selecting COM ports. Hopefully, when I click OK here, it will just read from the radio. And I'll show you a clip of what comes up on the radio screen. But it actually comes up with a PC program USB mode in text on the screen when this is happening. So we're reading the data from the radio. And it should only take a couple of seconds. And hopefully we'll get a success message at the end of this. And there you are, read data successful, so we're OK. So now we can see the basic information that was already there. But let's have a look at the general settings. This is how our radio is set up at the moment. This is, if you like, the factory settings, the factory code plug. It, uh, you can see this. Um, we've got radio name here on the right. Radio ID. This is where I'll be putting my DMR ID. It's just set as one at the moment in this radio. We've got uh, various settings that we can alter. OK, um, we've got definitions of the side buttons, what they're going to do. You can see that we've got various options. We can alter the function of these side buttons. All right. Um, <clears throat> menu hang times, various settings pertaining to contacts. We can turn the LED indicator off. We can turn the intro screen off. All sorts of things here. Let's have a look to see if there are any channels programmed in. And sure enough, there are. Um, there's what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 channels. Mixture of analog and digital. 
you can see how these are set. We can set the contact name, the group list, color code, repeat the slot, so on and so forth. Um, you see some of these are set outside, of, certainly outside of the UK. I'm at the bands, 441 megahertz here, 150 megahertz. We couldn't use these as is, wouldn't be legal, but we could easily reprogram all of this. Um, there's a scan list set with some channels in it. There's a receive group set. And we've got some uh, digital contacts programmed in just basically 1 to 10. So these are all our basic settings. We've read the radio. Now what I always do at this point, I will go to file, save as. And I'll just save that as... Um, I'll just change that name to 1701 default. That will save on my PC here. And if anything goes wrong, I should be able to overwrite this code plug back to the radio just to, to make sure it's still working. That's that's the way I normally do it, okay? We're not going to go into any depth in programming this radio using this software because my intention with this DM1701 was always to upgrade it to open GD77. So that's what we'll do in the next video. And um, we'll be able to see what improvements that brings about. But it will certainly make the DMR functions easier to program. We won't have to worry so much about uh, receive groups. We won't have to program so many channels in as we would have if we used the standard firmware. And I'll show you why again in the next video. But there it is. That's the um, 1701 software. Obviously downloadable from the uh, Bayafeng website. And if you want to keep your DM1701 as standard, this is what you're going to need to use. Thank you for watching.